Hi everyone, my name is Karel, or you can call me Kila. So uh, in this video, we're going to talk about the Unreal Engine 5, uh, have a little bit highlight on that. And afterward, we'll open the sample project that Unreal Engine 5 provided, and then try to put our MetaHuman that we created earlier uh, in the sample project. And hopefully everyone uh, can make it work. But unfortunately, Unreal Engine 5, uh, even for my computer, I crashed multiple times. So if your computer cannot handle the epic settings, you might want to tune down the settings and also maybe turn off the reflection and the set shadows and hopefully uh, you're able to run the simple examples. So let's get started. And today, uh, I have a couple highlights that I want to mention to you guys for the Unreal Engine 5 tools. Uh, of course, as normal, uh, we always have our uh, documentation here. My main highlight for this time would be for Unreal Engine 5 would be the first, the UI. The UI is stunning. Uh, when we compare with the Unreal Engine 4 game, uh, I'm sorry, it it is like a little bit like the old games that we used for the interface. But for Unreal Engine 5, man, it's stunning. And you can see when, when I'm in this simple, sem simple, I mean sample project, when I open it, uh, the scene is, is really easy to see you can look in the surrounding um, really easily, but not blocked by the browser, uh, or you have to go to the setting back and forth, because now uh, you can just click on the Unreal Engine 5, and then by using control space, uh, your, your browser came out, for your content browser came out, and then you were able to uh, select the thing, and then uh, able to put on your objects into the scene, So which is really convenient, and you can, you can hide too. I really, really love these features. Um, I do have a little bit problem sometimes when I go to the character settings and then material, sometimes the content draw just don't goes up. Even I press control space, I don't know is that because my keyboard settings, uh, is, uh, also using Japanese or, or there's any problem or, or, or the bug in the UE5, but, but so far it works really well. And the thing I want to highlight most is the feature called Nanite. Nanite is a virtual geometry system in UE5. Pretty much it means you can render millions of polygons maintaining with a real-time flame rate. So for example, um, let me see. So let me turn on settings over here, show FPS. So even with the details of the scene right now, you can see my computer, actually my computer is not really good. It's, it's 2080 uh, with only 16 gigabyte RAM, I think. Uh, so sometimes when you guys watch my MetaHuman video, you will see some sort of lag. Uh, that is not your internet lag. That is my computer uh, doing the recording on the screen at the same time running the heavy MetaHuman, also doing the face link, um, and it just create that lag uh, with the epic settings. So right now you see it's actually really, really good uh, with the details of the mega scans we have here. You can see the background is really, really, really stunning. Um, and one of the thing I want to mention to you guys, if you guys like me use uh, Unity, Unity have a settings called LOD, level of details that you could use on the settings and also the Unreal Engine. Sometimes uh, the problem of using the LOD is you see things pop up and it just pop from nowhere when you are trying to see uh, something further and, and it is, it is really strange, uh, especially when you want to have a top view, but not like a first, like third person view, like in this kind of distance, but you want to have a top view of the scene. Uh, you don't want to see things keep popping up around this this side and this side when you move. So right now with Nanites, it seems like this problem is gone and it's really, really impressive. And we can also look into the, uh, go to the shader settings. Um, and then there will be nine nine visualizations and then we could choose the triangles and we could see the triangles. So basically if we move far away, you can see the triangles actually, uh, simplify, but when we go closer, it become more details. So this is amazing. This is unbelievable. Like this is a dream of all developers and all gamers that you able to only process the details that you can perceive down to the pixel level. So, so this is really, really impressive. And, and I wish when I developed the attack on Titans VL game, 
uh, in Japan, uh, in our team, we, we were able to use this kind of technology. Um, it is really, really impressive and, and I love it. And this is one of the main highlight I want to show you guys before we go into the um, MetaHumans, uh, import the sample project. So the other thing, uh, there's update is like MetaSound that you could actually create your own sound through the node. Uh, and also the Lumen with the dynamic global animation. So you don't have to bake everything like in the past, so which is great. Um, and then furthermore, uh, one of the thing, uh, people don't talk about it a lot, but I, I really, I really like it is, let's go for the dog, it's over here. It's called the asynchronous physics simulations. So you can see over here, everything, most of them go to the right, but somehow one of them go to the left because of this weird thing going on here. So, I mean, it's just random there. Uh, you don't want result like that. You want consistent result in the same rate, everything falls to the right uh, most of the time. Of course, you, you can introduce random stuff over there, but but you don't want it to happen when you don't want it to happen. So. So when you do rendering, you always have different result. And one of the thing bother me most is when I do rendering stuff uh, with the colliders, uh, maybe like Unity in Magic Magikov, Magikov maybe it's Japanese, I don't know, uh, or maybe Dynamic Bones. When when you use with the colliders, sometimes it just give you different result. And then when you're all right to rendering in one scene, but you want to rendering again because of one correction. And then your clothing and your body is kind of weird because the collider didn't work properly, uh, or maybe it didn't work as you expected. So I I really really appreciate uh, that Unreal Engine uh, have this kind of details looking into the physics simulation to make sure uh, you can enable it. So I, I really want to highlight this feature to you guys. Maybe maybe you guys not really interested in this kind of features, but I I have to say I really appreciate it personally. Yep. All right. So the next thing we we're going to talk about is let's let's go through to one of the video we have in the in the test video. Uh, what we're going to do today is we want to have the meta human that we created earlier to be imported in the scene. I feel like this this itself with the fire pace itself, you you just it could be just a scene like that for one hour. So I feel like it. You know, maybe I'll create a video just rendering for that, but it, it just it's just so good in Unreal Engine with MetaHuman. Um, so so there's some details on this scene. Uh, we need to use what we learned uh, on the third person controller uh, in the previous video, something similar, but there will be things that don't work because of the modular parts. Uh, we will use the other way to link the parts so that we could link the character, uh, different body parts together after retargeting. Uh, and afterward, you see this thing over here. Um, we need to map the bone uh, and make sure this drone code actually works. So we also need to retarget things over here with the motion. And you can see the nine eights is just awesome. And there's a lot of details in this scene um, I want to talk about before we jump in. So, so the hair, we need to turn on the LOD or else it would just going off. Uh, but even though we turn on the LD, sometimes you see if if your speed of your computer didn't get enough, it, it your hair just gone. So in those cases, in the future, maybe we have to have some sort of hair mesh uh, so that when when the speed is not enough for the hair rendering, uh, at least there's a mesh base for that. I actually just look into the echo character. It seems like it's doing the same thing like I mentioned. So we need these kind of interact motions too. So it should be in the GA interact. So if the first time you're loading, uh, it will take you a while. So I recommend you, uh, before you before you import your MetaHuman, uh, after I told you how to do a sample project, you import sample project. It's one gigabyte, super huge, make space on your hard disk for the project. And then afterward, uh, I actually recommend you to run it first before everything, before you do the MetaHuman things. Make sure your base work first on your computer and make sure you load all the asset first. So one of the thing I really want to highlight here, uh, 
that in Unreal Engine 5 is amazing um, is actually this part. You see the hand when you jump through the objects? This is a sh smaller object. And this is a taller object. It's using the same animation on a different height of the object, which is amazing. It's called motion warping. Um, actually, it's in the documentation too. I really would like to highlight this too. Um, let's see. I think they mentioned over... Come on. Here! Alright, I don't think it's a really good video over here. I hope there's something over here. Yes, but basically in this document, uh, even though it's a different height, you can you can do something, you can use the same animation again and, and without any weird things going on, which is really, really cool. I really, really like it. So, so this is one of the things I also want to highlight. Uh, and the 9 stuff I mentioned earlier, uh, you can also watch the Unreal Engine um, details and talk about it. Because uh, I want to keep my videos short and sometimes there's too many details that I want to talk about. I feel like sometimes, actually one of the nice person comment on my video said, uh, one more details, one go deeper, want to go deeper. So maybe in the future, I will consider to do some intermediate video, uh, but not just beginner video, so that we could talk about something deeper. So yeah, so afterward, uh, we have the scene and then you see we have the attack part. So we need to do the retargeting on that too. Um, and then we have this fight. Right, so there we dodging. Then we need a map too. And then it'll be done. So basically that's it. Uh, and now let's get started. So let's go to Epic Game Launcher, press UE5. Press UE5. All right. And then go to the bottom left and then get the sample. When you press get a sample, guess what? You can choose your location um, and then you can create your project. Yep. Just press here, choose your location, turn on project, or maybe after you download it, go to the library. Uh, and then search up the, what's it called? I think it's called the village. Let me see. Let me see the name of it. Valley of the Ancients. Yes, Valley of the Ancients. So you just need to go there, uh, Valley of the Ancient, and then you'll be able to uh, type it and then you'll be able to create a project from the library too. So which is really simple. Um, I think in UE5, sometimes they have link, that the link won't work anymore. Like one of them, my video talk about meta humans and the link just don't work anymore. And I did create the archive so that people can follow uh, the sample project. But I would recommend you to get a sample as soon as possible, even though you don't install it, but at least just get a sample so that your system know you get it. Yep, so here is the way you get a sample. And then when you open it, it will be in the start scene. Again, if you're new in Unreal Engines, right click, hold it, hold the right click key, and then you can change the angle. When you're holding the right click key, W, S, A, D, like FPS, you could you could move, and then E and Q, you can go up and down. So you can go to the place you want to see, like this. And then one of the thing really convenient for this kind of uh, huge environment is, for example, I'm lost, right? I I'm really lost right now. So I know my character name is called Echo. So I switch it up and then I choose it. And I'm gonna go back to Echo, so I press F. And then now I'm back. So F mean focus. So this is one of the really convenient thing. So that's right. So the next thing, uh, we're going to do is we need to import the meta human that we work on earlier. So how can we do that, right? So there's two ways of doing that. One way is the previous way uh, on Unreal Engine 4 is you have the other project open and then you want to migrate it or maybe you use the meta human breach. So you go to the breach application and then 
so you go to the bridge application and then you go to download it uh, export it and then you choose the settings on the export settings to your project that is open and then you export it uh, so which is fine uh, you can do that too but in Unreal Engine 5 there's something simpler right now and it's quicker and it makes so much sense in the UI, UI to do that so you go to content and then open the Quixel bridge Ta-da! You can actually import things over here. And if you log into your account, you have this logo over here, um, like the Earth logo. Uh, not, not Earth logo. You have the profile logo here. This is mean the metahumans, which you created. If you don't log in, you don't you won't be able to see it. And I try to log in with Google OAuth, mean the Google, Google login thing. Um, it didn't work on me in the browser. It has some sort of security problem in through the Unreal Engine 5. So I try multiple, fa multiple ways and I find out, I found out that I have to use my Unreal account to log in and it works. And what happened here is uh, after it works, this logo pop up and then I will choose my MetaHuman. At, at first I have, I have to think of the other way to work around. I actually go to my old project that we created earlier in the demo project and migrate to UE5. Uh, actually, it works too. But this is way simpler uh, with the UE5 UI, bridge UI, and then download your MetaHuman. So I actually choose my MetaHuman right now. And then I'm going to choose high quality. And then I'm going to choose add. For the people who didn't choose, who didn't download your MetaHuman, you want to uh, click download first and then choose add. So I choose add right now since I downloaded it. And it will take a while. So let's wait. All right, so now let's say we missed the settings of the project. So you want to press enable missing settings, enable it, enable again. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, our restarting is done. Um, so let's see. So again, you have to follow, and hopefully your computer will have enough power for running the sample project. And then now let's look into the MetaHuman folders. Is it here? Do we import it properly? Yes, we did. We did. And before we do anything, Let's compile it. Let's have a look. All right, I'm going to enable the missing stuff again. All right, I'm going to restart it again because uh, when you guys do it yourself, don't forget to enable everything before you restart because it's really, really time consuming. All right, so it's good. Let's open the yes, asset editor. Let's have a look. So I'm going to just do all the retargeting in this scene right now uh, because I don't want to put anything on my RAM. But when we look into the viewport, yay! Our character, our metahuman is actually here. Again, if you want to slow down your movement, just hold your right click on your mouse and then scroll the wheel uh, to the back. If you want to increase speed, scroll the wheel at the same time to the front. Oh, crap. Yes. All right, so this work. But it seems like one thing I really, 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 don't like is the arrow the the hair is gone when it's far away so let's let's have a look so as you see there's a false arrow the minus one is automatic switching i don't want automatic switching so i'm going to use zero all right so i put zero i'm going to press compile I'm going to press save let's see Okay, okie dokie. 
여기저기 Alright, cool, cool, cool. So Monkey King is good. The next thing uh, we want to do is we want to see the current character we have with the ancient content. So when you go to ancient content characters, Echo, which is character name, um, we want to look into the characters too. Here's the anime. BP and is it a mesh? Yes, is it a mesh? So I'm gonna have a look on the echo. I just double click on it. Cool. So we got echo here. Coco and let's see on her skeleton. Her skeleton is called Echo Skeleton Skeleton. And how about our monkey king? Our monkey king over here on the body. Press the browse button over here. And the content browser came out way. We like it. So convenient now. Feels like it's hard to go back. Press the skeleton. All right, we're viewing in pants right now. You could choose anything you want, but I don't care right now. So the skeleton name is called MetaHuman Base Skeleton, which makes sense. All right, so I know what's the skeleton right now. Let's do some mapping. So in the third person controller video we actually was mapping the mannequin so in terms of the spine uh, on the mapping we need to change things to make it work but when we look into the skeleton of this character let's see uh, bones and or hierarchy you can see this is unlike the mannequin it actually have the details of the bone from the spine one two three four five so when we click on it right you can see one two three four five and then when we look into the meta human base skeleton let's look in the skeleton tree we can also see one two three four five so so it actually map one to one so we don't have to trim and choose the distance so usually what we do in animation retargeting sometimes we have to sacrifice certain bones because they don't map one to one uh, we have to decide what bones to what bones instead and skip what bones but in this case uh, we don't need to skip any bones for echo and our monkey king which is great so the next thing i want to do is i want to go back to echo skeleton to make sure all the settings is right for us so let's go to the show retargeting option everything is animation so from here we want to recursively set translation retargeting to actually before we do that i want to make sure things looks right over here and then also the monkey king base button i want to choose the humanoid over here and then want to make sure it's three two one is correct show advanced double checked everything maps correctly show base and we just, just want to look into echo and make sure everything looks the same all right so those skeleton is okay it looks the same i'm going to save this and then on the skeleton tree now i'm in the meta human base skeleton tree we want to choose a show option again so we're talking options and then from this side i want to switch it to animation so let's choose animation and then from this side a recursive lead to skeleton okay so on the five let's do skeleton two recursive to skeleton the other five on the left also to the skeleton 
All right, so save and go back to the echo skeleton. What we're trying to do here uh, is we're trying to mix thing one to one so that we can use the humanoid skeleton structure to retarget, retarget the animations. And we do the same over here. And then also on fly, skeleton, and skeleton. The skirt, I don't think I care. Um, because we don't have skirt anyways, but mm, whatever. I'll just leave it. Save it. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. You know what? I'll just cut in two. Even though I, I don't think it matters. All right, so we are done. We're done on the settings. The next thing we want to do is we want to do the retarget retargeting festival. Just all the retargeting work prepare. So let's go to, let's see, ancient contents. Go to the characters, echo, and then echo and a BP. So when we do this, all right, it's really heavy on my computer right now. Okay, so I'm going to choose retargeting enemy blueprint, duplicate enemy blueprint, animation blueprints and retarget. I don't confuse it with the enemy, but just forgive me. I, I, I always just use enemy from now on, <laughs> but you know what I mean. So choose the metahuman base um, skeleton. And then now we're going to choose the prefix. Let's choose monkey king. So that is kind of unique. So monkey king, and I'm going to change the folder. I'm going to change to go to monkey king. And then I'm going to create a folder. Just right click over here, new folder and create animations for ancient content. So let's use AC. Mm, but ancient battle is also AC. Whatever, I will do this AC2 later. All right, just press OK. And then I'm going to retarget it. Hopefully it works. All right, it seems working. Everything looks good. You see the shape that you move. If, if, if it didn't work on you, what you will see here is you won't see your body even move. Right now it's a pants, but you could choose the other preview. You could choose the hand thing too. So it doesn't matter. Great, great. So now this is working. Next thing we want to do is really tricky when you actually don't look into the code. Um, the next thing you want to do is let's go back to the content. Actually, outside of the content, you go to the ancient, ancient battle content. Before that, we should do drone first. Let's do drone first. And if you don't see it, um, you need to choose show plugin contents, I think. And then you should be able to see it. Let's see, let's see, is that how it works? No. Oh yeah. Yep. So show plugin content. And then you will see the hover drone. If you don't do this step, I guarantee you, your drone thing will just go weird. You cannot even pass through the drone screen because they will be block on they will, they will bug in the blueprint and you cannot move forward so you go up here um you need to do the animation over here too you need to retarget this too so i'm going to choose the animation montage or retarget this I'm going to choose a new folder just so that we don't confuse. Monkey King again. 
I'm gonna create a new folder again. I like to separate things. So draw, right? So put it here. Okay. So I'm gonna choose the metahuman base. Alright, that's quick. So let's double check. Um if it works, we should all right, it didn't work. I guess it went somewhere else. <laughs> Where are you? Anyway, actually, I'm really curious now. I need to search it. Monkey King and animation drone? No. Animation AC? No. Where are you? Let's switch it up. Monkey King. And the name was the name call. The name is called Release Montage. So Monkey King. Monkey King mode it's not here is it here nope all right i don't know where did you target let's do it again go here we target a set duplicate it choose this over here monkey king change folder metahuman monkey king and the drone folder okay all right this time it should work go great 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 again do it again for the sitting one remember do the purple bluish one uh, which is the animation montage so it would generate both so save your time Choose space, do monkey king underscore again. I'm gonna choose the metahuman again, monkey king, animation drone. Okay. Okay. Alright, so we have both. Um and then I just realized that we didn't <laughs> complete the first one. Uh, it's a little bit tricky, I remember. Um, on the... On the ancient content, characters, echo, animation. So when you look here, there's 27 items. But when you compare what we did earlier, what we generated earlier, you will realize the number don't match. So there's only 24 here. Three is missing right so what we have to do is we need to put in the missing part so this over here so i'm gonna right click over here for the reach out and montage we target with the animation do the same thing again just repeat it we're gonna we're gonna make our life easier just do everything in the front Monkey King, AC, OK, and then double check, we target. Cool. Do it again. Second one, target this and this and Monkey King. Of course, you can name anything you want. Animation AC, okay. Double check, retuck it. Done. All right. Let's double check the echo again. All right, this is the vault one, like a jumping thing. Charge attack, monkey king, underscore. Double check, retarget. 
Oh shit, my folder. <laughs> Brain fart. All right, let's let's go to let's make it organized. So metahuman, monkey king, animation AC. Let's put an animation AC over here. Go here. Move here. All right, move here. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got this. We got this guy. We got this guy. Bear with me. Bear with me. I know it's a little boring on this side, but it will be fruitful in the end. Go print. Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, characters. Characters, ancient battle content. We want a battle scene. We want the dodging thing. So go to an ancient battle content, characters, go to echo, and this anime BP again. Let's see. There's a lot of things over here again. Let's, let's do this. Retarget, duplicate blueprint. Choose it again. Monkey King underscore change. All right, we, we want to create a new folder. Animation, animation, battle. Let's call it battle. Yeah, I should put the S. Cause I like S. Ho oh, oh. ho. All right, rename, rename it. I put the S just so they don't bother me. Cool. So we got the battle but let's check 17 is that correct let's double check on the animation 25 oh yeah it's it's not enough so we're gonna go here and then we're gonna do the same thing let's see we're gonna do over here. We target this. So a couple more guys, and then your game will work smoothly. Monkey King, the human, and then animation in the battle. All right. Then the first one. Then we're going to do the second one. I wonder, can we do multiple one at the same time? Good, 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 good. Let's do this. And then monkey king. And then we we'll choose meta human monkey king animation spell. And go. Let's check. Come on, man. Mad human, where are you? You are here. Battle. Cool. 25 items. Alrighty. We got this. We got this. Alright, so I think we did all the animation we need to do already. So let's go back to the ancient content and then we'll go to the character echo. Actually, what we want to do next is we want to go to the blueprint. Let's double check on the characters. BP echo character. Uh, start from this part, you guys could create and duplicate uh, a different BP character and then map it out in the game mode. But I just want to save the time and I don't want to make it too complicated. So I'm just gonna modify it directly on the BP character. So let's have a look. So we have this BP character and with the viewport in. What we want to do next is we want to make sure Make sure to turn off the things that we don't need, but put our meta human here. So what we can do here is first hair mesh, hair groom, eyebrow. We we we're using completely different characters. So we're gonna we're gonna choose this free, and then 
turn off the visible and then turn on the heating again so we don't need this let's compile it save good actually before we do anything else let's save everything go back to content browser save all let's save it and let's turn on the map first make sure everything works and you can see live I am blueprint content ancient content level 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 maps ancient world let's load all right we are back so back to the scene now what we want to do is we want to have a look on the character to see is the change actually be made over here all right you can see the hair everything's off which is fine great so everything we do on the blueprint character uh, will actually be effective over here so the next thing we want to do is we want to go to the echo actually go to the blueprint we have earlier on the character so we turn on and then this time will be a little bit complicated uh, it will be similar with the third person controller uh, but we would need to do something more uh, unlike our previous tutorial video so I got a blueprint over here I'm gonna take it out on a separate window I'm gonna put it on the left side of the screen I'm gonna put this on the right side of the screen so that it's easier for us to do the mapping thing so all right so I'm, I have this right now what I want to do right now is I want to put everything on this mesh to this mesh but before I do that I need to map this to not the echo skeleton mesh but the monkey king uh, not the monkey king we want to map it to the body which is called M M E D so we could browse it on the browse it and then when we turn on the content browser you should able to see this is selected right and then you want to press the arrow key over here see used yay tada it's over here now but you can see the animation is weird because it's not sitting uh that's what we want so we'll choose monkey king and then we'll choose the first one the echo anime bp all right so it's it's sitting so right now but we don't have other parts right it's it's like the third person um tutorial we had earlier if you guys can go back to see how it works um, but we're gonna repeat the step over here so first we we're gonna move the face to the mesh and then we're gonna put the torso round part so press ctrl z to go back it's torso to the mesh so the poor so it's really laggy right now it's really heavy press legs put on mesh legs click on the feed actually let me go up first and afterward I want the face over here here to the face so here and then want the eyebrows to the face eyebrows One of first face F U Z Z. I slash I lashes and mustache. And the 
last but not least, the beer. And also, you see our LD sync over here. I want to copy it. I'll somehow paste it. Perfect. So I got the LD sync here. Now I press compile. And then press save. I'm going to put back my BP Monkey King back here. And then what I want to do, like the last time we did, we're going to close this again. Because somehow it, when you don't close it, it just don't go, don't refresh it. So we want to go back to the BP again. So go to Echoes. I mean, Blueprints character and then BP Echo. And then now we go to the viewport. Ta-da! All right. So we have the hat, we're sitting the pants. The pants is weird. And the shoes is weird. If you follow our own method, which I guess I would do right now, just to show you guys. Um, our own method is just one of method uh, to map the animation for the Master Pros, so that it's the same. Um, so we press Monkey King. Actually, the torso is already working, so. Ah, so heavy. So heavy. So 1.1 is the leg. Let's press Monkey King. So this is what we did last time. And now it goes there. And when we do this, now it maps properly. Great, right? That's what we thought, right? Let me press compile, press save, and then let's see. Let's see, let's see. Pray just in case, right? All right, so I now I see nothing but the hand, right? I I really I really see nothing. So I if I move it, press W S A D, it it moves. So the animation actually worked on the blueprint, but it's invisible. I wish I can do this in real life, but I cannot. Um, but you you, you see it's, it's it's movable, right? So 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 it's actually not bad. But there's there's a lot of problem over here. <laughs> So what we have to do next um, is we need to fix this problem first. So let's go back. So first, um, to solve this problem, we need to go to the construction script. So let's let's go up. So basically, there's a hair. Uh, Scatter mesh and groom switching without physics over here on the branch, uh, on the actual character. So, so we will just ignore that part, but we do um, want to change the settings over here. Over here. So, what we want to do. Just want to do the set master pose component. What we want to choose is the mesh, and then we're gonna put this over here, and then we'll map it over here, and then we'll cancel it. Press Alt and then click on the line. It will be gone. All right. So afterward. What we want is we want all other body part to be here. So hair mesh, well, not hair mesh. This is for the old one. So face, uh, torso, legs, and feet. So go to target, go to target, go to target. compile and I'm going to take away 
it's going to report. I'm going to take away the animation booting because we don't need this now. Press none. Torsal face and repeat. Fine. So now I compile and save. And hopefully this will work. I don't want to do the BB at just height 2 because you see now there's an I on the track socket name but we don't have I so I'm gonna put on the head bones So the head bone would be like over, over here, right? So there's something we change on the BP edges height, I height to socket. Let's see if there's anything I could do on the content browser. All right. So when we press the play, we was not able to see the character. And now I'm going to teach you guys how to fix this problem. Um, this is a really, really tricky problem. What you have to do is you need to go to, when you look at the mesh and go to face, you're going to turn this off. Editable when inherited. And then you also want to click this off. Click this off. Click this off. And now we compile, compile and save. And you can see the body and the head. Yay. It's so weird, right? And then from here to here, the hair, you do the same thing. Go turn this off. Slashes. At first, I thought it would be some sort of layer that uh, didn't work earlier when I tried to do this in the project. But it's not. So now the hair is out. You can see even the wind is moving the hair, which is awesome. And now let's press play and test. Hopefully, it works. All right, so we have him. I uh, met him inside our monkey king. He's there. He's slowly moving, so hopefully he will lose. Yes, he can stand. He can stand. And he can move. Yay! He's great. Yes. Feels like there's some clipping on the top of here. We won't have time to see how can we fix this problem. But yeah. Alright, but don't be too happy because we will have a lot of things. We still have a lot of things that we didn't fix yet. For example, you press the drone button. What happened is, is nothing works on drone part. Right? So let's go back. So what's the next thing we want to do right now? Um, is what we want to do all the GA uh, on the drone part. We want to fix all the animation we're mapping to the new animation that we retarget. So first, let's do the retricky one. I think it's over here. Ability. GA deploy hover drone. But over here, drone flow mode, you will see the mode release over here. So let's use monkey king. Actually, let me double check. Mode release 
mode release settings montage monkey king mode release sitting montage okay great so when it's true when it's ending you want to do the mode release montage mode release so monkey king mode release montage great so it should be good on the drum part because there's a sitting release and there's a sending release right so that's what we were double checking after we did this it's good next thing we want to edit is let's go back to the content browser I'm pretty sure there is things on the vault. So there is the fold over montage. So monkey king fold over montage. All right. So compile and save. I'm going to choose Wait a second. Reach out, reach out, montage. Oh yeah. Monkey King. Reach out, montage. Oh, great. The other one. Mon. Okay. Again. Monkey King. Underscore. Reach out and mortgage great all right hopefully we don't miss anything compound save let's go to the so we did the interaction we did the hover drone we did the vote now we want the light dart and the dodge when we battle if you look back the tech look back to the test video uh, in the ancient battles, there's a jade dodge. Let's do this. And great. So this is the dodge to idol. So monkey king. Dodge to idol. Mortgage. And then we will see is that the other one? There it is. So we need again monkey king torch to idle montage. Alright. Cool. File, save. So we did the dodge now. Let's go to the light dart. Here, release montage. So monkey king underscore light dart release. Good. Cool, cool, cool. I mean, specific code on the play in the blueprint. So now let's press play, but before that, let's save all. Good. Now let's press play. All right, so we are back. Now let's test the drone. Great. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It's working. So let's move. And you see, 
It is so cool. Press X to return. And now I'm gonna press arrow key, W S A D, anything. My video card is so exhausted. Uh, let's try to interact. Hopefully, to crash on me. Hey, yes, yes, we made the first part, guys. We change the animation, everything we compile again. That's fine. It is so heavy on my computer right now. Jumping. The jumping is not working. We need the jumping to work. Let's see what the problem is. Alright, so I think we found the problem of why the battle scene didn't link properly. It seems like it might be here. Yes, so we forget to link the battle light dart anime BP layer to the battle scene, I mean in the ancient battle scene. So after we do that, everything should work. Press play. All right, welcome to our second test and hopefully this time it will work. One, two, three, go! Oh, yeah! We made it! Oop. Yes, yes. This works too. And also test on the small one. It works! Everything should work. <laughs> Awesome. Alright. Let's try with my little FPS. Important metahuman project. Metahuman characters 
to the same project. This is actually the better example of showing us how do we import the metahuman to a sample project and also do the retarget animation properly on all the parts. And if this video helped you a bit and you have fun watching it, please press like and subscribe. Have a great day guys. Cheers.